a new little bird in the Redbreast flock. But is Redbreast 18 worth the money? We're going to check it out and find out. Welcome to Four Leaf Whiskey. So I know a lot of you are big Red Breast fans. I'm, I'm kind of a single pot still fan myself. So a lot of people are excited to see an additional core range item added to the Red Breast lineup. This is a Red Breast 18 year. This is an 18 year age stated single pot still Irish whiskey. This one has been finished in bourbon barrels, Oloroso sherry casks, cream sherry casks, and ruby port casks. Now the last release from Redbreast that included some cream sherry casks was their Redbreast Christmas cake that was a Middleton Barrel Club exclusive. Uh, a lot of you guys saw me drinking that. I love the heck out of that bottle. Um, we actually finished it this past Christmas, so there's none left, unfortunately. But I was really excited to see cream sherry in this one. I really love that one. I was, I'm hoping this one is similar. Now, this one is proofed down a little bit. This one is at 46 ABV. Kind of wish it was a little bit higher for an 18 year age state of whiskey, but 46, I'll, I'll take it. This one is priced, the MSRP is $250 US. Um, I'm sure just like every other release, um, state by state, you'll find some variety in that, but MSRP is 250. This one just released on September 12th. So, if you haven't seen it yet, it, 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 I know it has been spotted in the U.S. and it's making its way. So you should be seeing this in your state before too long. I'm pretty sure this is going nationwide. Um, I looked at the list of all the countries that this is releasing in and I don't think anybody was left out. I think it's, it's going pretty much everywhere. So poured a little bit of this nice, really dark gold color. Now the nose actually reminds me of Red Breast Lestat. Um, I'm getting a lot of that that candied almond, that marzipan on the nose of this one. But there's a lot, good bit of oak spice coming through too on the nose. There's vanilla, caramel. There's cherry on the nose. I'm kind of getting almost like a cherry. Yeah, there's a little bit of cherry on the nose on this one. All right, let's go in. Watch it. So front palette, the first thing I'm hit with is actually the, the pot still spice. A lot of cinnamon. A lot more cinnamon than I, I would have expected. Which I kind of like. It's different. Um, cinnamon isn't typically a note I get on a lot of red breasts. A lot of vanilla. I got more marzipan, more almond on the nose. I'm actually getting a little more hazelnut on the palette. And there's a, a, a chocolate note in there as well. The chocolate actually is what I'm finishing with. That, cho that chocolate note tends to go. It's a little shorter finish than I would expect on an 18 year old whiskey, if I'm being honest. Um, which I have a feeling some of that is because it's it's been proofed down to 46%. I mean, it's not short, but it's just, it's not as long as I would like. Not quite as long as the 27. I don't think it's quite as long as the 21. A little bit of that oak spice coming through on the palate, just a little. The more you go back to it, the more it kind of comes out. Cinnamon, hazelnut, chocolate, vanilla. A little bit of, I don't know, is a fig raising, that, which would be coming from the pork cask. Little bit of that, but it's, it's kind of dominated more by the nutty and the chocolatey notes for me. So I wanted to compare this to a couple other items in the core range, and let's see how this one fits in with the lineup. All right, so I pulled another couple bottles from the core lineup. Sorry if you can hear that noise. My neighbor is mowing their lawn. So I don't have the 21 year, but I do have the 12 and the 15. So over here in my The Average Drinker glass, I have Red Brass 12. In the Whiskey Encore glass, I have Red Breast 15. And in the Two Stacks Friends of Irish Whiskey glass, I have our 18. Um, the one thing I can tell just by looking at these is that the 18 is darker, is definitely the darkest in color out of the three. Um, 
Some of that I attribute to the Oloroso Sherry casks that this has been uh, matured in because the 15 is the one that's more bourbon cask influence, less sherry, and that one is the lightest of the three, which I would expect. So some of it is due to that, some of it is due to age. So we're gonna see how this fits into the lineup. Now, for the price point, for the age, I would expect this to be substantially better than the 12 and the 15. I mean, at least it should be a step up from the 15, but let's see. So first I'm gonna start with the 12. Now the 12, this one is a lower ABV. This one is the 40% 80 proof. Big red fruits, shortbread cookie, it's just a solid, solid whiskey all day long. All right, let's go to the 15. Now, truth be told, this is my actually my least favorite in the lineup. A lot of people love this one, but let's let's check it out. A lot more tropical on the nose from that bourbon cask. Longer finish than the 12. A lot more tropical notes. Citrus. Got a lot of orange zest in this one. A lot of apricot peaches. A lot of vanilla. Really good length of finish. I will say, you know, I, I don't go back to the 15 enough, probably. And it, and it really is a good whiskey. Um, I just, there's so many really good bourbon cast finished whiskeys. Really oily. The tears are still, on the, I mean, it's still going down the glass. Really, really good whiskey. All right, let's see how the 18 measures up. On the nose, it's actually a little more subdued than the other two. Now, I've, I've only had, I got this bottle right before I went to Ireland. I only had um, just barely down the neck of it um, because I don't believe in doing a review right on the neck pour. I think you, you really you gotta have a couple pours of something to really get into it to kind of pick it apart. So it could just be this hasn't gotten enough air yet. This one actually on the nose reminds me a little of Gold Spot. Um, it reminds me of Listo, reminds me of Gold Spot, because that cinnamon's coming through, the oak, the vanilla, big time. Those marzipan notes are coming through. It's just, it's, it's not, I'm not getting the fruit. Like I get, I get a little bit of like a dark cherry note which I, the only other Red Breast that I can remember getting that one on, it was the Red Breast Small Batch US release in 2020. But it's not as pronounced as that one. It's just, it's very subtle, but it's there, but it's very subtle. Now you have dark black cherry. So the 18, I'm not sure if that finish is as long as the 15, or it's probably equally as long. The spice is higher than the 12 and the 15. So if you like a really a little more spicy single pot still whiskey, this 18 is gonna be it for you. Cause the first note you hit front palate is that, that spicy cinnamon. Vanilla, a lot of vanilla on this one. Um, then it's definitely kind of a like hazelnut, chocolate, I have to dig for fruits on this one. Honestly, I'm not getting as much um, fruit on this one as I do on the 12. But it, if the fruit I am getting, it's it's a little bit um, a little bit darker, like a fig raisin kind of thing, which I typically do get with pork cast. So I'm assuming that's coming from the ruby pork cast. But a lot more spice, a lot more. It's it's more desserty, but think like spice cake, like something really spicy. I think. I, I am getting some oak spice on this. Between the three, as far as the biggest punch in flavor, um, I think you get it with the 15, just because I do get those tropical fruit, like bam, like front palate. Whereas the 18, I'm getting that cinnamon um, front palate on this. Um, remind It does remind me a little bit of Gold Spot, because um, I am getting the Gold Spot 9, because I am getting a cinnamon toast crunch kind of vibe going on in this one. But I mean, that's just front palate and, and very minimal, like boom and gone. And then it immediately goes into hazelnut and chocolate and oak spice. It is a very layered whiskey. There's a lot, there is a lot going on with this 18. 
All right, Red Rice 18, is it a buy or is it a pass? So you guys who have watched, especially my live streams know, I'm a wee critical of Irish distillers. Uh, I do think Pernod Ricard's pricing has been all over the place lately. I don't think there's any consistency or really logic to some of their pricing. However, this Red Rice 18, I have to admit, this one actually is priced well for where it fits in the lineup. You've got the Red Breast 21 that is currently MSRP of 350. You've got the Red Breast 15 that I believe is around 150, 160 right now. So at 250, this actually does fit. It slots right in where, where it should. Now, is it good enough to whiskey to spend that money on, however? Uh, one thing I do appreciate about this is that it is different than the others in the lineup. You know, you've got your 12 year, your 15 year, your 18, 21, 27. I think if you put all of those in a lineup, there is no way you're gonna mistake one for the other. This is, it, it is different. And I do appreciate it that. I appreciate them not just slipping another whiskey in that tastes like something else. So it, it I appreciate that in that regard that it's different. My probably only complaint, and it's, you know, it, it's more me is that, you know, I wish it tasted more like the Christmas cake I'm a bit spoiled, me and my friends, you know. We, we've had Christmas cake, we've had a lot of Red Rice single cast, so. This one I think is more appealing to the masses. I do think it is a nice whiskey. It is, I wish it was a higher ABV, 46, you know, 18 year whiskey. I kind of wish they'd have bumped it to 50. That would have been nice. Or 50, you know, 50, 51 would have been nice. But if it, it's still, you know, 46 is, is a little higher. If you're a fan of Red Breast Whiskey, if you're a fan of Single Pot Still Whiskey, I don't think you're going to be disappointed to add this to your lineup. It's a little, it's different. It's a little spicy. It's a little nutty. It's a little chocolatey. It's a little bit different than, um, honestly, most of the Red Breasts that I've tried. So I'm not really disappointed to have picked up the 18. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what your favorite Red Breast is. Slaunch up.